Phantom, Phantom, can it go to $1.75? You bet it can. And this could be a short-term price prediction, not just a long-term price prediction. If you want a roadmap in crypto, subscribe to this channel. If you want more research and calls like this, check the Patreon link down below. Affordable, high value. Readers have been hearing about Phantom for now for over a week. And I'm going to show you the charts and tell you why Phantom currently trading at 30 Five cents on November 17th could go to $1.75 a lot faster than you think. In other words, if Phantom does what Chainlink does, where should Phantom be? Hmm. Let's go to the charts and find out. Here comes a share screen. So let's talk about the DeMarc work in Phantom. So you see this big 13 here, that is a bottom in Tom DeMarc's signal. He was the first quantitative technical analyst. He would count sets of conditions. And then, you know, when something appeared for the 13th time, that could be a bottom. So lo and behold, on October 16th, phantom bottoms. And you're like, oh, Bill, look at this. Well, you're taking out resistance right around 32 cents. So this will be the second week in a row, right? Some nasty Wix action going on here this week, but that can be good because that scares people. So you're taking out resistance and you're like, well, I don't know if I can buy it. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is the whole history of Phantom, right? Look at all this give up action here. Everybody giving up. Look at this avalanche lower on FTX from January of 2022 and on. Now, I ask you this. What is in Phantom's way? Where's resistance? Gee, I got 95 cents. Solana can go from 17 to 70. Phantom can go from 35 cents to a dollar. Why? Crypto hedge funds are buying anything big anything with a network that could be robust, anything with speed. All of the crypto layer one networks are being repriced. They're being repriced. So Phantom, right, down, out, no one likes it. Now let's go to the daily chart and check out what's here. Okay, gonna scroll, gonna scroll, gonna get there. Okay, here we are. The give up trade, which is called the previous fourth wave in Elliott nerd terms, that is at, oh, look, 33 cents. And what happens when you take out the top of the previous fourth or you burst through that level where the give up trade started from? What happens? Downtrend over. Now, on, on November 17th, Phantom is giving you these lurches higher, but it keeps coming off. Now, soon we're going to have a DeMarc 9 top, but this is just what you would expect at this stage of a trend. In other words, you know, you would expect all the way up and then back a little before it resumes. Now, in this case, seems like Phantom's doing kind of a back and fill early, which, you know, leads us maybe after one more correction or one more dip into this like God candle arena where you can have a rampage because the way the mark work goes, you go one through nine, that's set up, correction, and then you go one through 13. So you could have 13 up days in Phantom. And like I said, where's the resistance? Look at this. So when you look at Chainlink, you'll see that Chainlink retraced the entire decline from Celsius and FTX. So it won't show the Chainlink chart. But that's what Chainlink did when it went from 5 to 15. Now, if Chainlink can do it, and Chainlink has been a leadership coin in the past, guess what? So can Phantom. So everyone is like, oh, I can't buy it. It's up too much. No, it's not up too much. Crypto hedge funds aren't going to think it's up too much. Crypto hedge funds are going to go, the bigger the base, the longer it sits dead, the higher into space, right? The harder it goes up. Well. Look how it went straight down, right? Phantom, oh, straight down, boom. Speed, magnitude, and direction. If it takes off, it's going to take off the same way. And guess what? 
This thing hasn't even gotten to the top end of the range. The top end of the range is 57. So if crypto hedge funds are panicking, meaning they have to be longer and more leveraged and make more money in a very confined space, they're trying to make all their money in for a year in two months. So that's why they're after Solana. That's why they're after Avalanche. And that's why Phantom could be the next one and the biggest one. Subscribe to the Patreon and the channel and hit the like button on the way out.